the reasons that made me decide to stop being a full-time influencer. This is a very good conversation. Hold on, let me choose up. People don't talk about this anymore, and I don't know why. But, like, when the influencer industry started to become a thing, it was never like what it is right now. Like, people weren't saying, oh, I want to become an influencer, like, you know, seven years ago, three years ago. Like, it was not really the thing because what influencing was, it was writing blogs, it was making videos on YouTube. It was not this constant, like, overconsumption and, you know, promoting every single product that a beauty brand comes out with. And you know they got hella products. It was never like what it was today. Now, granted, like what it is today is not a bad thing, but I just think that so many girlies just don't understand what it takes. I think a lot of people get into it because they want to get their bag. They want to get their money. And, you know, granted, I get it. Like, I'm a talent manager. I want to work with the creators that want to get their money, too. Right. But like you don't realize what comes with that, you know, and it's not like something to like you know, boohoo and cry about, but it's something you gotta be really realistic about when you get into this industry. Like this industry is pretty much a part of Hollywood, right? And if you think about like traditional Hollywood, becoming a celebrity, becoming an actor, becoming a model, those are very competitive and it requires a lot of you. And so in order to like be an influencer, you have to be like focused on yourself. You have to be focused on the money. You have to be willing to consume and to push consumerism. You have to be willing to promote products for the money that you want. Like if you are selective, then you also have to be willing to accept the fact that you are not going to make X, Y, and Z amount of money that Sally over here or Patricia over here is making. Like you have to be accepting of that and that's okay because you can have that stance. But a lot of times people are in conflict with the reality of what they truly want and their true values versus like what they see people over here doing with their influencer, you know, life and career. My other two cents of it is that um, creators think a lot of times that their brand deals are like a result of like their team and like the people that work for them. No. The brand deals are a result of you as a creator making demand for yourself. And a lot of times content creators, you know, I've heard them get in meetings with me. Like, what have you done for me lately? Where are my brand deals? How many times are you pitching me? And I'm like, it's not my job to do that. Like, I'm just your team. Your job is creating all of that to exist. And I think a lot of content creators get into this game and they don't realize that and they get really disappointed. But I love this video. Go back and watch it.